Brought to you direct from Studio 3B at Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, the American Hardwood Advisor is your source for trends, tips, and insights into how the building industry has evolved. Join me, Steve Stack, along with guest builders and industry leaders as we talk shop and go in depth on what it takes to be the best of the best. Dive into topics like architecture, industry trends, project plans, historical tools, tricks of the trade, and life's lessons from more than six decades of experience in the hardwood lumber business. Hey folks, Steve Stack coming to you from, where are we at? I think we're in Tyanesta now. Tyanesta, Project Tyanesta with the renovation hunters. I'm losing track. They're chasing us all over the country, Adam. That's all right. It keeps us busy, right? <laughs> right? Folks, Adam with Lazy Guy DIY, uh, that's false. I've seen you scattering. There ain't, there ain't no way you should be affiliated with Lazy. Well, my wife would disagree if I, uh, <laughs> that's where that came from. So like if I didn't finish a project at home, that Lazy Guy didn't finish that again. So that's, my wife says it, no one else does. Right. Uh, we met out in Nebraska, like I did most of the folks, and and uh, one of your projects was was refurbishing, rebuilding, starting over, and building a new cabinet in that kitchen out there. And yes, sir. It was accented by that wall control panel, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you never know what they're going to throw at throw at you from renovation hunters, right? No, sir. And that one was. Uh... The challenge of that one was hilarious is people would walk in the room because it was an extended porch, it would shift. And so I'd take a measurement and then I'd walk out do a cut and somebody else would be in there and then that thing would move again. And I was like, I, I know I'm not losing my mind on this, but sure enough, and we got it, it turned out great. Give us a little background. What, what does, when, you, when you're not on location with renovation hunters, how do you spend your time in your workshop? So I uh, build a lot of custom furniture. That's my uh, big thing, designing a lot of mid-century modern, uh, which I haven't done any mid-century modern yet because uh, we're doing rustic cabins and everything. Yeah, yeah. But uh, projects around the house, we have old 1920s craftsmen, um, do a lot of built-ins and things there that I've been working on and whatever pretty much my wife wants me to do. And then I've got three kids that I'm chasing around on top of all that. Where do you call home? Uh, Richmond, Virginia. Oh, okay, so, so you're right down there. Uh, what what's your takeaway with the three projects that we've been involved in together uh just let me ask you this uh, we'll start we'll start small and, and by no means is this this small I've, I've been asked when i left nebraska and got back home how would you describe nebraska in one word ginormous <laughs> It we was, we were close. <laughs> we were close. My word was vastness. Yep. <laughs> right? It, it was huge compared to everything else. I mean, that was a big place. We all got there and we were like, oh my goodness, this this whole thing, you're going to have us do this whole thing? And we did. It was amazing. Um, but it was that was a huge undertaking. Right. And then we went home for a few weeks and then roll call was at, at uh, Project Kreitz mm -hmm. down in Virginia. And and we went from one extreme to the other. It was crazy. You go from however many thousand square feet to like 300 <laughs> square feet and you can't get everybody in the place. And I mean, you talk from um, like almost like a craftsman style, sort of like a four square to a 1870s cabin with log cabin walls and everything. I mean, that's that, that's a complete change up. It was unbelievable. We, we went from volume to not a lot of volume, <laughs> but for that location, that cabin belonged there in a completed quaint. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have a you have a little pond there. You have, I mean, I'm a Virginia boy. So, I mean, and grew up going in the woods and everything. So, I mean, it couldn't have been more home to me uh, right there. So it, beautiful. And I mean, I was so excited about that one. That was, that was, that was a great, great property. And now we find ourselves up here in Tyanesta. In reality, the first time we've run across conventional construction, mm -hmm. you have half a chance of finding a stud in the wall. <laughs> and, and, you know, we, we laugh about it, but it, it really does make you guys' undertaking that much easier. Oh yeah, when we put uh, putting the ceiling up, I mean, when you can see from room to room and your lines match up, yeah. that's, 
What are the chances of that happening anywhere else we've yeah, been? It wasn't going to. <laughs> no, it wasn't going to. It was luck. It was a happy accident, we call it, right? Yeah, right. So so in your day-to-day, what's, what's, what's your favorite thing to build for folks? You mentioned the furniture. Mm-hmm. Uh, or would you rather be job site doing cabinetry work? You know, um, so I grew up flipping houses with my dad. We'd buy a house, we'd tear it down in studs, and then we'd go back and put that thing, put it on the market. And so that's that's pretty much how I learned how to do things, how I cut my teeth, and then using tools and everything. But I mean, furniture making, one of my favorite things, uh, the table I did in Kreitz. Um, yes. Worked on that, the rustic uh, farmhouse table there. I mean, I was in my happy place all day long, working on that, shaving it down, making that everything. That was a monster, that oh, was a monster. It, it was huge, and the maple from you guys. Yeah, that was that eight quarter rough maple that you Beautiful. requested and we sent down there and, and you brought it to life. Mm-hmm. And I mean, that's that's my happy place is creating with my hands and doing that and making furniture. That's. And you, you shared with me earlier this week that you're getting back to some of the house flipping mm-hmm. and uh, you're keeping yourself busy. Yep, I mean, as things come up, and, and I, I don't like to do the same thing all the time. I'm not one of those guys that's a production guy that does cutting boards, does the same tables, furniture, anything else. I have to constantly be doing something different, new, learning something new. And I mean, I, I guess I'm ADD in that sense. Yeah. That I got to keep making stuff. So Adam, before I let you leave, uh, I've learned of a partnership mm-hmm. that you have uh, besides your own business and besides your partnership with Renovation Hunters. You have a partnership with our good friend, Rach. That's correct. We, tell, tell us about it. We have Makers Challenge Central, which is, it, it's the biggest woodworking competition on the web that we can find so far. So, but it started as a once a year thing. We'd send plans out uh, and everybody get it on one day. And then they'd have three weeks to build from these plans, put their own spin on it and just made a huge community from it. And it's expanded now that we run a new challenge every month. We have everything from furniture building to art projects to furniture flipping to mallet challenges. I mean, we do stuff year round just to bring the community together. And uh, man, we have some awesome prizes too. What kind of what kind of submissions rate do you get participating in in one of your projects? So, like I said, we, we'll pick a secret plan essentially or a theme. So we've had uh, we've had desk, we've had anything from coffee tables and people just go with it. We have three different um, categories, basically. We have our novice builders, so they're just starting out. We have our intermediate, and we have our finest craftsmen. And man, when you see these finest craftsmen things, we have requirements of different uh, joinery that has to go in there. Uh, They have to use different types of material or hardwood. And when you see some of these things come out, like desk-wise or coffee table or media table, it's insane. I mean, the, the quality that comes out of these folks. That's cool, that's cool. And, and you get different flavors from across the country. I mean, across the world, it's, it's international. We get people from wow. all over the world entering this. Tell the folks where, where they can find that again. So they can find it on uh, at Makers Challenge Central. I mean, it's all on Instagram. All right, hey, thanks for sharing that. No problem. Well, hey, Adam, uh, this is like uh, our third project. I don't know about you, but after especially the first trip and i was only on site a few days for the second trip this one we've we've been here sticking it out and and uh uh we're gonna need a couple days off when we get back home where are we going (laughs) better involve a fishing pole that's right (laughs) right we can go meet my family at the beach that's what we can do (laughs) all right adam thank you so much absolutely uh lazy guy diy uh apostrophes bs and and there ain't no way but folks stick around follow our friend adam and beardbrothers.com the socials instagram and and facebook and the rest and uh don't be afraid to jump on youtube you never know who's going to show up on uh not studio 3b project tyanesta and american hardwood advisor take care for all you folks listening Thanks for talking shop with Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods. If you've enjoyed this episode and want to stay up to date with the American Hardwood Advisor Series, give us a like and subscribe. For more tips, projects, and inspiration, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or at BairdBrothers.com. Until next time. 
Brought to you direct from Studio 3B at Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, the American Hardwood Advisor is your source for trends, tips, and insights into how the building industry has evolved. Join me, Steve Stack, along with guest builders and industry leaders as we talk shop and go in depth on what it takes to be the best of the best. Dive into topics like architecture, industry trends, project plans, historical tools, tricks of the trade, and life's lessons from more than six decades of experience in the hardwood lumber business. Hey guys, Steve Stack, Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, bringing you another American Hardwood Advisor. You can tell by the backdrop, I'm not at Studio 3B. I am in Pennsylvania at Project Tyanesta uh, for our partners, Renovation Hunters in the Outdoor Channel. And I have I have a special guest. Uh, I don't know, Rach. What do we What do we go back about four or five months now? Yeah, I mean, feels like years, but I guess it is only months. Right? Crazy. It's been It's been a long spring summer. <laughs> it has. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, Rachel with Desert Woodworks. Uh, welcome. Hi. It's good to run across you again. It is great to see you. We've been in uh, Nebraska, we've been yeah. in Virginia, and now we're in Western Pennsylvania. I know. And you travel from Fort Worth. I do, I go, come from uh, all the way from Texas. It's kind of nice to be right in the middle, so wherever they go, you know, <laughs> I got about three follow. hours either way, yeah. So, before we talk about this project in particular, uh, tell us a little bit about Desert Woodworks. Well, it started about eight years ago, and it started with wanting a table that was around $3,000 that I didn't want to pay $3,000 for, <laughs> and so I decided to build the table myself, um, then ended up doing some remodeling at my parents' house, and it just kind of has snowballed from there, and now I kind of just do a little bit of everything. Okay, so you decided to build a table. Uh... Did you have woodworking background? Nothing, but I uh, hate to say it, I was looking at Pinterest and I just thought, okay, there's steps and a table at the end. I can do that. So that's really how it started. A shop, tools? No, I went and bought my first miter saw. I didn't even know what a pocket hole jig was. <laughs> so I just, you know, took that word into the lumber store and asked, I need a pocket hole jig. And then I came home and the the first table was quite a lot of sanding, quite a lot, because I didn't yeah. know about planing and milling and any of that. So it was a process, but it was fun. And it has evolved in your product offerings? It has evolved into now I still build furniture. I've built my daughter's a two-story playhouse with electricity. Um, I've built my entire house. It was just a construction grade and I just pretty much customized almost every room. I've got about two rooms left that I'm cool. doing. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. Without going into too much detail, this project here in Tyanesta. Yeah. Uh, you work with a hammer in your hand, a nail gun in your hand, a paintbrush in your hand. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, we just pulled you away from staining some product that we don't want to mention just <laughs> no. yet. Yeah. But uh, it doesn't matter what hat you wear when you come here. You got a good one on today. I do. <laughs> but, Not on purpose, but, but yes. But definitely this whole team, Kevin and Hal, uh, they have they have the wish list, the want to get done list. Yes. And And I know... You and Christy have worked together quite a bit. Yes. Uh, Christy Miller from Oak Hill Millworks. And, and uh, it doesn't matter what it is. Yeah, it's true. And, you know, with this project, we knew that we had so much to do that we kind of just, uh, before we, you know, in our production meetings, we just created, Kevin created this punch list. And it really was, this is what has to happen daily in order for us to be done by the end of the week. Um, so what's been really cool about this team, if somebody finishes their punch list day one, they move on to someone else's punch list day one. And then that way we're able to stay on track day by day. Yeah. So truly, um, coming into this, I really had no idea what specific things. This is the least planning I've been able to do so far. You know, and this this project is a little different from 
from the others that we've we've uh, shared. Yes. Um, this was a nice, very forward palette to yes. start from. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. And and there's a ton of stuff getting done. <laughs> yeah. And and uh, a couple of the other projects weren't that clean cut. No. <laughs> you know? No. But. Uh, you guys are doing a great job, as always. Uh, you know the whole crew. I it escapes me how many there are in in total. Yeah, I there's mean, a lot of us. Got to be got to be what? Well, I 10, mean, 12? Yeah, there's there's five of us that really focus on like the detail in the interior, and then there's five of us that really focus on the construction and the exterior, and then we have partners like you guys who come and hang out with us for a few days and kind of save our bacon so we can make sure we get this stuff done in time. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, it's it's been fun. Every project has been fun, and and the neat thing about it, you from Fort Worth. We got we got cast in New Brighton, yep. Pennsylvania, soon to be Converse, Indiana, and yeah. and uh, you know the guys from St. Augustine. I know it's it's amazing how you guys come together. Yeah, and bring your skill sets and make it happen. Yeah, and and uh, you know I I know the families involved greatly appreciate it. Yes. And and it it makes it worth makes those long days worth it, right? Oh, it definitely does. I mean, they they're long, but like at the end when you see their faces, it just really truly makes it all worth it. Right. Yeah. But uh can I tell you the funnest thing about having you on set with us? Go ahead. Okay, don't get scared. This is my favorite thing about having you is that I am self trained. So if I don't see it on YouTube, if I don't watch it on Pinterest, if I don't learn about it from a friend, I don't know. And having you come to Hyannis and just something as simple as shiplap, which I've done so many times, but you showed me tips and tricks on shiplap that never would have known if I hadn't have learned it from you. So I, I loved it. It was a pleasure learning from you. I appreciate that. We ran that little wall of shiplap we in did. the kitchen out there and we had a nasty crooked ceiling yep. to start with, right? Right. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that. I mean, that. I was like a blank until you were like, this is how you start. This is where your nails go. This is how it's a perfect cool. finish. Cool. That's how I do my show. I really, I really appreciate that. And you know what? I, I enjoy sharing that information and, and we all learn from it. Yeah. It was great. It, it was right? great. Folks, Rachel, Desert Woodworks. Yep. Right. Yep. Follow along and stay tuned. Beardbrothers.com, the Instagram, the Facebook. We've got some more great guests coming up soon. For all you folks listening, thanks for talking shop with Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods. If you've enjoyed this episode and want to stay up to date with the American Hardwood Advisor Series, give us a like and subscribe. For more tips, projects, and inspiration, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or at BairdBrothers.com. Until next time. Brought to you direct from Studio 3B at Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, the American Hardwood Advisor is your source for trends, tips, and insights into how the building industry has evolved. Join me, Steve Stack, along with guest builders and industry leaders as we talk shop and go in depth on what it takes to be the best of the best. Dive into topics like architecture, industry trends, project plans, historical tools, tricks of the trade, and life's lessons from more than six decades of experience in the hardwood lumber business. Hey folks, Steve Stack, Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, not coming to you today from Studio 3B. We are on site at Project Tyanesta with our pals from Renovation Hunters. And right now I am joined by two characters. Just giving you a heads up, all right? There's gonna be some fun. That's, that's some of the best things we've been called. Yeah. <laughs> At least you're being honest. So I have, I have Camper and Mike with me from On The Spot Outdoors, home based out of St. Augustine, Florida. Correct, right? yes sir, correct. Right? Yes, sir. Guys, welcome. Yeah, thank, yeah. thank you, thank you American for having Hardwood us. Advisor, on site, Tyanesta. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for having us, guys. Uh, you know, love you guys, love your products. Um, you know, just being here. But we met you, I think, originally in Nebraska. Nebraska. Yep. And, yep. Uh, yeah. That was another journey. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so we've we've uh, we've ran a gamut, uh, as you mentioned, Project uh, Highness, uh, Project Kreitz, mm -hmm. uh, and now Project Tyanesta. And uh, I know 
a little bit about you guys' background and stuff, uh, having witnessed your work, uh, that, that great project that you guys were assigned out at, out at Nebraska. Yeah. Uh, you guys got some talent. You guys got some talent. It was a good time. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we actually watched a YouTube on the way up yeah. and uh, learned how to do all that. The drive was so long, YouTube we, were able to, we were able to really figure it <laughs> that's out. How, that's how we get it done. <laughs> all, right, all right, Camper. <laughs> Between the two of you, uh, I know you, you guys build some fantastic products. I've, I've had a chance to, to see them. Um, tell the folks, tell the folks what you, you manufacture down there in St. Augustine. Well, I guess our, our main bread and butter is the custom deer blinds. Um, you know, we, we build deer blinds that are just one-off customs. I guess the best word to explain it would be the ridiculous of ridiculous deer blinds. So everything we build is gonna have solar power, refrigerator, 32 inch TVs, fans, I mean, Keurig, yeah, Keurig coffee makers, massaging chairs. Yeah, you got to have massaging <laughs> so, chairs. So folks, they're 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 you know they're they're doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Cut through the crap. You guys, you guys are building the Maserati. Of <laughs> exactly, your minds, right? exactly. <laughs> well, we build it the way we would want to hunt and be comfortable. Exactly. Pretty much. Exactly. We sit in it. We look around. We're like, oh, I want this here. I want this here. It'd be really cool to have a TV here. Yeah. And we just kind of go with it and make it. Yeah, we we bring more technology to our blinds than anyone on the market. In the, in our industry, most they're very cookie cutter. You know, very all of them are pretty close to the same. Yeah. So we the main thing that we've always wanted to do with every blind is just make sure that nobody's seen this before, nobody's done this before. Yeah, um, and we want to have fun. Yeah, once it stops being fun probably won't happen much <laughs> yeah so so before we go any further what's the best way for folks to get hold of you guys uh the website, the website of course yeah. uh on the spot deer blinds uh now we also have a full woodworking shop of course a couple thousand square feet where we do all kinds of custom woodworking from tables to furniture i mean Foxy. you name it um you know we do we do a little bit of everything so that's on the spot woodworks <laughs> Um, and both of those URLs will just take you right back to the same place, which is us. Cool, cool. So, uh, like I say, folks, I've, I've witnessed these guys uh, not doing the deer blinds, but uh, over the course of the last four or five days here in Project Tyanesta, yeah. uh, whether it's uh, picking up stuff and throwing it in the dumpster or yep. setting rafters or whatever, uh, you guys aren't afraid to jump in, yeah, and exactly. and that's cool. That that element of renovation hunters is cool. How they brought people from all around the United States, yeah, brought them yeah. together, all over, and different skill sets. And you know, we're we're coming to the end of this, and it looks like it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. a good yeah, deal for sure. Yeah, we we have a pretty vast background in different things. I I was in new home construction for 27 years and uh so we bring a lot of that to the table with us you know uh the the blinds and stuff is actually our retirement uh, <laughs> yeah. mike and i yeah. we, we retired we retired two years ago now and, i'm busier uh, than ever yeah never worked harder but uh but it's fun it is. so it doesn't feel like a job yeah. well if you're if you're enjoying it you're doing the right thing exactly yeah, you know exactly. and and like renovation hunters and the whole premise of renovation hunters whether it be that hunting camp out in nebraska or mm -hmm. that great place down in kreitz yeah. or this which per se not a hunting camp but they hunt out of this yeah, location exactly right. on some of the surrounding state state land and yeah. so forth but more importantly it's to get families to keep coming back to these camps, exactly. right? Exactly, and and Hal always says that, and we agree a hundred percent. You we're know, the it's all uh, the outdoors is all about the kids. It's all about the families bringing all families about the together, uh, creating memories. 
you know, from, from day one when we met Hal and he explained this to us, you know, we were 100% on board. I yeah. uh, love the idea. I yeah. love the concept. And actually, this one here is very similar to how I grew up hunting. We, we hunted the National Forest, and our cabin was kind of in a little neighborhood of cabins like this. Right, right. You know, so where everyone got together and then went out into the forest and did their hunting and then came back together. You know, and we all have we all have those memories, whether it was hunting, fishing, family weekend camps. Yep. Yeah. You know, whether it was a tent or a cabin and, and, and that's important. And that's kind of the fiber that everybody, all, everybody, yeah, the yeah. makers, yeah. you guys, yeah. everybody Everything. brings to this, to this equation that, that sure. to this point has worked out well. So yeah. folks, Steve Stack, two great guys, Mike Camper on the spot outdoors and follow along. You guys got yeah. the Instagram, the Facebook oh, yeah, going. Of course, uh, all over it. On the Spot Woodworks on yep. Insta, On the Spot, <clears throat> spot knives. knives. We're also a custom knife builder. Yep. And then, of course, I'm Camper's Craziness. Check me out on Instagram also. There's a lot of research for you folks to do about these two <laughs> characters, all right? A lot going on. <laughs> Mike, thank you, Pleasure. man. Pleasure. Camper, thank you, as thank always. Thank you. Until next time, guys. For all you folks listening, thanks for talking shop with Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods. If you've enjoyed this episode and want to stay up to date with the American Hardwood Advisor Series, give us a like and subscribe. For more tips, projects, and inspiration, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or at BairdBrothers.com. Until next time. Brought to you direct from Studio 3B at Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, the American Hardwood Advisor is your source for trends, tips, and insights into how the building industry has evolved. Join me, Steve Stack, along with guest builders and industry leaders as we talk shop and go in depth on what it takes to be the best of the best. Dive into topics like architecture, industry trends, project plans, historical tools, tricks of the trade, and life's lessons from more than six decades of experience in the hardwood lumber business. Hey folks, Steve Stack, Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods. Uh, we're putting together a little American Hardwood Advisor series with our visit to Project Tyanesta with our partners, Renovation Hunters. And we've, uh, we've been able to snag some of the, the folks that are, are helping this transformation. I'm joined by Stephanie, uh, Uncommon Outcomes. Outpost, Outpost. very Outpost. close. That's why I, want, I told you when we started, you should say it. Oh uh, yeah. Uncommon outpost. Correct. Okay. Uncommon outpost. All right, That's we me. got that. We have seen each other, this being the third time over the last five or six months. That's right. Met out in uh, no man's land, <laughs> was Nebraska. Yes. What a great place. I, I, that was such a different experience for me. I've lived in the Southeast my whole life and I've never felt so like in the op so exposed, you know, just driving there. There's no trees anywhere. <laughs> it's like people can see me for a hundred miles. So you call home down around the Richmond area? I, yeah, I'm originally from Richmond. Okay. Um, and then I spent uh, almost 20 years in Savannah. Whoa. Um, and then I've kind of circled around the Southeast a little bit. I'm in Atlanta now, but. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, the, the going out to Nebraska, like myself, I mean, I'm, I'm Midwest, I, I, I know cornfields, soybean fields, and forest. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, we didn't see any of that in Nebraska. No, no, there was just grass and sand. Sand hills, yes. sand hills, right? Uh, yeah. But the so, Virginia build, that one I was familiar with. That was territory oh. I'm, I'm, I know. That was one of the most quaint locations. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you didn't want to be disturbed, that's where you went. If you needed a, a weekend to get the knots out and leave everything settle, that's where I'm headed. That is so true. That is so true. And I mean, just you can't even use your phone if you wanted to. Nobody can bother you. Just peace and quiet. Yeah, I, each, each project, uh, Project Hyannis, Project Kreitz, and now Project Tyanesta, they've all brought their own personality and character. And then yourself and Renovation Hunters, you're tweaking it and updating 
what, without giving away too much, take me back through what kind of projects you were assigned through the three different builds. Well, I am a little bit of a different situation than, than most of the folks here because I am here um, through wall control. I work at wall control. And so um, we do steel pegboard and storage solutions. So I'm here in that capacity, but I also have been building for my entire life. <laughs> yeah. So I have a lot of experience renovating buildings, um, doing some of these projects. And, and so I volunteered to, to be an extra handyman around and, and just kind of do some of the projects that they need an extra set of hands for. You know, and that's, that's true with everybody here. Mm -hmm. uh, we rolled into town Sunday, came to the job site Monday, uh, early Monday morning, and the guys started demoing. And if there was a crowbar, grab it. If they were dropping stuff on the ground, pick it up, take it, take it to the dumpster. And I've seen yourself with a hammer in your hand, a paintbrush in your hand, a sander in your hand. Oh yeah. I, I just caught you doing some artwork. Yeah, yeah. I was I was doing some lettering earlier today. I was um, scraping paint, and we're gonna reglaze some windows later. So it's it's been fun. It is not boring for one second. No, no, no. And that's and you know and and that's what keeps it. it really does keep it interesting. Keeps you keeps you sharp and keeps you thinking. Mm -hmm. And a talent like yourself with the broad based background of carpentry, paint, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. You know, just like everybody hobbies. else. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, you you look at the skill sets throughout the group, mm -hmm. and and if it needs done, there's somebody on site to do it. That is, I I don't know if they planned that or if it just worked out that way, but it it's pretty cool to see that there's every job that we've tackled, on every job that we've tackled, somebody has done it before. And uh, a lot, most of the time that's Kevin, but a lot of times there's somebody else that's done it as well. Yeah. And that's, it's been a, a pretty fun learning experience. And, and a lot of personalities, a lot of characters, but with the same goal in mind. Exactly. Let's get this house done, get to the finish line, turn it back over to this, this family and allow them to enjoy it for another 60, 70 years, right? Oh yeah. So Stephanie, before I let you go, mm -hmm. I want you to take me back through. You shared a story with me yesterday, the day before, and it involved your father. Yes. And <laughs> and uh, you know, I've I've said I've said to a couple other people on this on this uh, these job sites, things happen for a reason. We've had stuff, literally, stuff people fall in our laps that we wouldn't have thought about contacting. But when we do, there's a tie back to the Outdoor Channel, Renovation Hunters, and its cast of characters. <laughs> and you found out the same thing with your dad. I sure did. Um, so I'm, I'm from Richmond, Virginia. And at, when we were up in Kreitz, uh, instead of heading back down to Atlanta, I was like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go visit my dad and see what he's up to. And he just retired um, last year. And he's the one who taught me a lot of what I know. Um, when I bought my first house or when I was working on my car, the majority of those conversations are, you know, a picture of something and I send it to my dad. What's wrong with this? What, which of these things is, is not working or why isn't this plumbing working or what do I need to do to make this whatever I'm building work? He's your go-to. He's my go-to. Um, and so it's very rare that I come to him with information that he doesn't already have. <laughs> so when I get to his house, he's got all the face frames off all the cabinets. All the doors are off all the cabinets. All of the dishes are in one room. All of the cook stuff is in another room. And he is rebuilding his kitchen. He's in the midst of a project. He is in the midst of a project. I mean, I get it honest. <laughs> <laughs> and so and so I I thought, you know, I know something my dad doesn't know. And and I was like, Dad, where where are you getting where are you getting your lumber from because I know he doesn't have a planer and he's not buying rough, rough song right? um, from locally and he's like you know I, I found this place online it's like well you know coming straight from Christ I was like I know something <laughs> like trying to sneak in and tell him about you guys and, and I was like I know this great company I've met them I work with them 
you should get your lumber from there. And he's like, no, 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 I already found a place. They have the best prices and I really like their customer service. I talked to them on the phone. The quality is really good. I'm not changing. And so I was like, oh, fine. Well, who is it? He goes, um, I think they're called like Baird Brothers or something like that. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. The one time I thought I knew something he didn't know and he already knew, so. <laughs> a full circle. A full circle, every time, every time. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh, fantastic, I love, I love that story. And, and uh, uh, you and I talked, I, I, need, I need to find out where your dad calls home because uh, that story is worth some, worth some goodies. <laughs> All right, he would love that, he would love and, it. And yeah, we're gonna hook him up, we're gonna hook him up awesome. right. Ladies and gentlemen, Stephanie, Uncommon Outpost, follow along. Follow Baird Brothers, Instagram, Facebook, across the board. We've got more great guests like Steph coming up. Hang in there. For all you folks listening, thanks for talking shop with Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods. If you've enjoyed this episode and want to stay up to date with the American Hardwood Advisor Series, give us a like and subscribe. For more tips, projects, and inspiration, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or at BairdBrothers.com. Until next time. Brought to you direct from Studio 3B at Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, the American Hardwood Advisor is your source for trends, tips, and insights into how the building industry has evolved. Join me, Steve Stack, along with guest builders and industry leaders as we talk shop and go in depth on what it takes to be the best of the best. Dive into topics like architecture, industry trends, project plans, historical tools, tricks of the trade, and life's lessons from more than six decades of experience in the hardwood lumber business. Hey folks, Steve Stack, Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods. We are bringing you an edition of American Hardwood Advisor, not from Studio 3B, but from Project Tyanesta with our partners, Renovation Hunters, on the Outdoor Channel. And uh, what a great morning we're experiencing out here. I have a real special guest, uh, had the opportunity to meet him, oh, probably five months ago out in Hyannis, Nebraska at Project Hyannis. Richard. Good to be here. Good to see you again, man. Yeah, it's, these have just gotten more fun and more fun. Right. Uh, as we go along, yeah, everybody, it's really become like family for sure. We so. do we do this a couple of years and we'll have checked off every state in the United States. I think States, so, right? yeah. It's, it's been fantastic for sure, just getting to see towns in the country you would typically never see. Right, Yeah. right. Uh, Little little Tyanesta, yeah, Oil City, Franklin, absolutely, they're all around. Yeah, uh, like just driving out here. What, what I, I forget the name of the little town that uh, uh, Cougar Bob's is at, the little little establishment we went yeah. to the other night. Yeah. You know, ten miles away, it's another little town, Berg. People are so nice. No, for right? sure. Yeah, we were. I mean, we were out here yesterday. I'm not sure if you were here at the time, but the thunderstorms were rolling in, and one of the neighbors came running out of the house and was like. I just want to tell you guys, it's a severe thunderstorm morning till 2.30 and it's like, you know, I'm from Atlanta and I like live in Atlanta because of my function where wall controls at. I think my neighbors would just be like, look at that idiot out there, it's about to storm, doesn't he know it's going to storm? But They're yeah. not going out the door yeah, to warn exactly. you. Yeah, they're like, yeah, so <laughs> right? it's, it's more of a, yeah, so it's, yeah, it's awesome getting to meet the people and, you know, just salt to the earth, give you the shirt off their back kind of thing. Right, and, and what a team they've put together. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's great to see after after three projects, yeah. everybody really gelling, for coming sure. together. Uh, this little project seems like everybody's brought their A game for sure, right? Yeah, and we're on day five. I mean, that's just exhausting marathon. I can't. I mean, from six thirty in the morning yesterday until eight thirty, just. Yeah. I mean, aside from a lunch, that was it. That was you know that was before dinner. So. Yeah, that was uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I went I went uh, on that stretch and and. Uh, they they've allowed me to be included on some of the install stuff yeah. and after after day one i went from two t-shirts to three t-shirts yeah, exactly because you're sweating through stuff yeah right? i have all i have like have my suitcase in the car at all times because i'm <laughs> right. constantly shaking. that's like with this before we sat down i was like i'm glad it was after lunch and everything could dry up a little right. bit before we yeah and you but, got this is the best spot i've been in the whole time here so <laughs> very nice yeah the guys did a great job picking this one out yeah but you know the thing about it and you, like everybody else on this property right now, there is no task that you won't jump in on and help. Yeah, I'm here to help. I'm free labor is what I say. Just grab me off the sidelines and give me a paintbrush or a saw and point me in the direction. So yeah. So, so on site, 
and we're not going to give anything away, mm -hmm. but you have in a couple locations, your product represented. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, one of them, one of them being, and I got to, I got to tell the folks about the job you guys did in that tool van. Yeah. Oh yeah. That, that Kevin totes around, right? Absolutely. That's, that, that's fantastic. And the project that you did here, every, every campsite needs one. Yeah. Right. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> so we, the folks we will think see so. It. The folks yeah. will see it, right? Exactly. So take us down the wall control product. Gotcha. The, the products. I mean, you yeah. have a family of products. Yeah. So, and speaking of, fa so we're a family business. Um, we originally, not wall control, but we started in tool and die in the sixties. Actually, my grandfather started the, uh, the cap tool and die is the name of the company. And we've been in metal stamping and tool and die ever since then. And then in the early two thousands, we saw a lot of stuff going offshore or going to Mexico cause we, we run other people's parts. And so, um, the offshoring became popular, especially in the automotive industry. So we had made prototypes of wall control that we had in our shop for our own use. Right. And we were like, all right, you know, we could get a call tomorrow and half of our business could get put on a flatbed and head to Mexico. So we need something that's never going to leave our shop. And so we were like, let's take this. This works really well for us. We're going to tweak it a little bit, make it modular, you know, make it so, you know, the everyday homeowner can install it really easily. And so we tooled it up, we patented it, we created a brand around it. And that was 2000. I think 2002 or 2003 is when we, you know, officially, you know, became Wall Control Inc. and got our patents and all that stuff. Um, and then since then, you know, I came on, it was my, my dad and my granddad and, you know, bless their hearts, they're tool and die makers, they're not marketers, they're not, you know, the, the online game was changing right. at the time and that wasn't their thing. So, you know, they were writing like handwritten notes like, dear Home Depot buyer, you know, it's like, oh, I, I, have, I have some left over, you know, some in my desk, but, um, I came on and my, my background is in mechanical engineering. I worked for the department of defense, uh, out of school. And then I left that in 2008 to come work at the tool and die shop. And, um, I was, I, I was like, I'll, I'm going to do wall control and wall control wasn't, there were no employees or anything. Right. So I'm doing half wall control, half tool and die. And we had a little 3000 square foot warehouse connected to our shop. Um, and one person in there. And so just started trying to, you know, make the website better, learn all I could about SEO, learn all I could about, you know, digital marketing and pay-per-click and all that stuff and just started trying to grow that. And then quickly that became my full-time job. And, you know, sent from then to now, this is where we're at now. So yeah. that's, that's the story. <clears throat> and, that, and that's a great story. So uh, for a number of years, you were with the defense mm -hmm. and, and then you came back home. Yeah, uh -huh. right? absolutely. Yeah, for and, sure. And so, you too, like Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, you're a third generation company. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, that that that's cool. And and you've taken it, and you, uh, more than myself, are of the of the generation of device friendly. Right. Exactly. Right? It's just it's where people's attention is. So right. it's like that's where you want to be. You know, wherever that is. And you know, to the point of you know, you get into strategy and all that but to the point of like renovation hunters it's a great fit for wall control because it's like if you like the outdoors and you know you like renovation shows then you are a perfect i mean that's, that couldn't be a better wall control potential customer so um it's really nice to know you're in front of an audience that's receptive to your product and and i'm gonna i'm gonna make an analogy <clears throat> at at baird brothers fine hardwood studio 3b in the workshop can I just say it's a really nice your podcast setup is amazing. This is this is nice, but y'all did a good job with that. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. that. And uh one of the one of the projects that that we've done on on our build it with Baird uh segment is uh another storage rack system. Mm -hmm. Old school. Yeah. From across the pond old school. Yeah. It's referred to as a French cleat yep. product. Very familiar. Right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And old and new mm -hmm. and there's room in shops for, for both, sure right? yeah we've seen people take our panel because it's 16 by 32 and mount it to like a french to the cleat yeah and then you can move it on your french cleat system move it so around. yeah because i mean french cleats are awesome but you have gaps right. that big right. and you can't really micro and then you that utilize space. that entire space yeah so you got a panel you can make you can every half an inch you can put you know it's a much tighter grid you can you can organize so we've seen people do that and use it in conjunction on it. So yeah. I'm sitting here thinking we gotta get you to Canfield, Ohio. 
Yeah, I got, I, I got some wall space in the stu in the studio yeah, workshop. Let's check you know? it out and do something cool. Right? Yeah, yeah. we could put y'all's logo on it, and yeah, for sure, <clears throat> like you did on the on the the trailer assembly inside Absolutely. there. Yeah, that's a new thing we do now, which is really starting to take off. So yeah, I'm gonna ask you. We met about five months ago out in Hyannis, mm -hmm. and uh, then we jumped to Kreitz, and now we find ourselves in Western Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Favorite project. Ooh, that's really, that's a hard one because they're all different. You know, they all got their own flavor kind of thing. I'm going to say, I think it might be this one, actually. I don't know if it's just because everybody, like we all know each other now. So you, all that you go, you know, you don't have to do that the first couple of days getting to know everybody. So it's kind of like a reunion when you show up. Um, there, for wall control specifically, it's been cool because we've done, and again, not giving anything away, but we've done a lot of different types of applications so it's like uses for our products that are not the re it was you know when it was when it was born it was born for a garage and you know common household hand tools for sheds for you know lawn equipment that kind of thing and until you know until now we had not done anything similar to that so we have some cool stuff that's kind of come out after the show comes out but um it's nice to go back to like i guess the roots of the the original purpose of the wall control in the marketplace that's that's true and and i'm sitting here thinking back and i i can envision the project you did in highness mm -hmm. and the project here but i go back to and i will reference it as the wash station that yeah. you did in Kreitz. yeah that was killer that is cool yeah <laughs> and that's what, what that's cool for i love the wall control setup but i love how they've taken elements of it for this build too you know so yeah. it's just oh, yeah. cool how they yeah it's like a whole i mean there's a bunch of levels that renovation hunters i think is gonna be an impressive show to watch i mean there's the you know the feel good reasons doing something for the family but like you're literally watching like product lines develop on the show too because like the way they've you know not to get into specifics but the way that's evolved from this from the previous you know uh virginia to now it's like you know, tailoring it exactly to the family. Spot on. Uh, much like Studio 3B in our workshop was born, uh, we, we set out with the intent to be informational, educational, and introduce product. Mm -hmm. And Renovation Hunters is doing the same thing yep. through wall control and all yeah. of the other folks yeah. involved. And you can be sitting there watching this, this show and all of a sudden, oh, I need one of those. Yeah. That uh -huh. is cool. You yeah. know. As, as also, the, the versatility of you guys' product offering. You know, like, I've been watching, like, oh, that's awesome. That's, you know, it's everything, every single build is different. You know, like, like oh, markedly different. Yeah, completely. totally. Yeah, so that's going to, I mean, kudos to, you know, Kevin and Hal for picking the spots they did and making it to where it's got something for everybody. My friend, we have three behind us. Mm -hmm. uh, Hal Schaefer's already talking about 2023. Yeah, we're <laughs> in, man. Yeah, <laughs> right? let's do it again. <laughs> so it's been a blast. It's been our pleasure meeting you. Absolutely. Pleasure is and mine. And getting so. to know you over the last five, six months. Folks, another great partner of Renovation Hunters. Follow Richard, mm -hmm. right? Wall Control on the Instagram side of things. Yep. So, yeah, Wall Control. I'm Mr. Wall Storage. Uh, and that's, yeah, that's how you can follow right? along. Yeah. Baird Brothers, across the board on the socials, guys. Instagram, Facebook, the whole nine yards. We got more great guests like this coming up. Stay tuned. For all you folks listening, thanks for talking shop with Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods. If you've enjoyed this episode and want to stay up to date with the American Hardwood Advisor Series, give us a like and subscribe. For more tips, projects, and inspiration, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or at BairdBrothers.com. Until next time, Brought to you direct from Studio 3B at Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, the American Hardwood Advisor is your source for trends, tips, and insights into how the building industry has evolved. Join me, Steve Stack, along with guest builders and industry leaders as we talk shop and go in depth on what it takes to be the best of the best. Dive into topics like architecture, industry trends, project plans, historical tools, tricks of the trade, and life's lessons from more than six decades of experience in the hardwood lumber business. Hey folks, 
Steve Stack, American Hardwood Advisor, Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods. And uh, I'm not at Studio 3B like you normally see us. Uh, I'm, at, I'm at a real comfortable place in Western Pennsylvania, Project Tyanesta with Renovation Hunters and the Outdoor Channel. And I have a new guest, uh, new face to you folks and, and a new friend to me, uh, Laramie. Thanks for joining us, man. Of course, I'm happy to be here, buddy. Okay, so Laramie, you, you, you've got a storied past and, and uh, I did not meet you in Nebraska nor in Virginia. A few days ago, we had the opportunity to meet and uh, you have, you're a busy man. Busier than I want to be most of the time, but hey, <laughs> you can't complain, right? No, and, and you know what I like about it? You got you got the wife and that beautiful little baby girl in tow with you. That that that's a, that's about, it. Don't matter where you're at, as long as you got them with you. Exactly. We right? go all over the place. I mean, half the time we're living in a camper. <laughs> <laughs> Poor girl puts up with a lot. Both of them. Oh, that, that's that's okay. Well, I think you're going to put up with a lot with that little baby oh, girl. She's a handful. <laughs> she's got some cute ringlets, man. <laughs> <laughs> so seriously, uh, I I know you're involved in a lot of different facets of uh, television shows, your social stuff. Walk us down your lane, man. So I've been doing, I've been involved with the Outdoor Channel for, let's see, since 2008 was the first show I started filming for them. I started filming before that on Versus. So I've been doing TV for about 16 years now. Yeah. Um, you know, I've known Hal for years. I mean, me and Hal, we've hunted together, we filmed together. Um, he used to come out and hunt with me every year at my outfitting business I used to have in Montana. And so, you know, created that relationship. And now, you know, he called me up about three weeks before this build and he knew I was come, believe it or not, I have uh, two kids that live just about an hour and a half from here. And so I was coming to pick them up anyway. So he's like, well, why don't you just, you know, you can come help us out and come jump on set. and. He has, he has a way of persuading people like yeah, that. Yeah, he's sugar-coated a little bit, <laughs> not going to lie. <laughs> but, you know, it's awesome because all the people, you know, the different partners that they have and the people that I've met here, you know, it, it's such a easy-going, great group to be around. We're having fun. We're working our tails off. You know, it's, it's awesome to see the transformation and, you know, to know you're doing something good for the community. That's, that's the big thing. And, and going back to the people... I, you see it in different groups of people. Uh, in this case, people involved in the outdoors, yep. whether it's hunting or fishing or like this cute little house. This, this is a great family getaway, set in a nice community. You've interact, interacted with the neighbors this week. Mm -hmm. Every, everybody is all about their well, neighbor that's what, and family. That's what hunting in the outdoors is about, in my opinion. You know, I've had a hunting TV show for years, but the coolest thing is you go, you can go all over the country yep. and you meet like-minded individuals. You know, we're all about family. You know, most of them, you know, are about God and, you know, everything that it embodies in the outdoors. You know, that's what this show's about. Yeah. You know, you have, yeah, we're doing something special for a family, but it's something they're going to be able to enjoy. Oh. And, you know, all their buddies are going to come over hunting. The family's going to come over hunting. They're going to have a great place to hang out and, associate, you know, socialize in. And, you know, it's just neat to be involved and be a part of it. Yeah, and, and, and again, any of the, the reasons, the hunting, the fishing, just the family get-together. Families getting together. It's being passed on to generations. I know this, this project, I think there's three generations involved right now. I mean, it's special. Yeah. And and I'm I'm sitting here thinking and listening to you talk a little bit and and if you don't already have it, I know that cute little girl. She's got she's got a nice little rifle lined up oh, real yeah. quick for her <laughs> and maybe a little bow. <laughs> well, and that's what you know. I'll be honest. This this country that we live in is losing those values that it was based off of, and this this is what it was. You yep. know, family. You know, being close to friends and family. Having get-togethers, not sticking people in front of a TV or video games, you know, getting out in the outdoors and being able to enjoy it. That's what this place embodies. That's what this show embodies is, you know, yeah, we're renovating a house, but it's for people to be able to 
socialize and have those get-togethers, whether it's hunting, fishing, they're just out, outdoors enjoying themselves. Doesn't matter what it is. And, you know, and, and how, many, how many great times have you had over the years at the end of a day of a hunt, uh, some, of the, some of the best memories are made around a campfire. Oh yeah. Right? You can come back and laugh at the guy that missed and right, you know, right. all, all the good times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, it is, it is. Uh, uh, the backstory on this particular house is special as were the other two, uh, but I'm not gonna keep you much longer. I know you've got some tasks to take care of yet today. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, find this guy at Laramie Sasquatch Miller, okay, on the Instagram, right? Yep. And uh, follow along. He's got the shows out there. For now, Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods. Follow us on our social and stick around, guys. We got more great guests like Laramie, all right? For all you folks listening, thanks for talking shop with Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods. If you've enjoyed this episode and want to stay up to date with the American Hardwood Advisor Series, give us a like and subscribe. For more tips, projects, and inspiration, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or at BairdBrothers.com. Until next time. Brought to you direct from Studio 3B at Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, the American Hardwood Advisor is your source for trends, tips, and insights into how the building industry has evolved. Join me, Steve Stack, along with guest builders and industry leaders as we talk shop and go in depth on what it takes to be the best of the best. Dive into topics like architecture, industry trends, project plans, historical tools, tricks of the trade, and life's lessons from more than six decades of experience in the hardwood lumber business. Hey guys, Steve Stack coming to you from American Hardwood Advisor, Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods. And uh, I don't have that same live sawn character grade white oak as a backdrop today because I find myself outside at Project Tyanesta with the renovation hunters. And uh, my guest today, uh, this afternoon needs no introduction. You all recognize her as Christy Miller, Oak Hill Millworks, uh, my partner in crime, uh, American Hardwood Advisor, Build It With Bairds, and a couple other nice little compilation projects we've done together. Yeah. Dear, welcome. Hey, buddy. Nice to see you again. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I'll say. <laughs> right? Uh, wow, where is five months gone? I have no idea. Has it been that long? Since Nebraska. Wow. That was yeah, late April. We started planning. Right? Early you know, May. Have you told the story of how you got involved with this project? I yeah. have not. I have not. And uh, I've touched on that with some of the other cast and characters. And, and uh, I'll ask the first question and then you can lead right to what I know you were about to say. <laughs> How did you become involved? Well, before we go there. Okay. A lot of people don't know the story behind Oak Hill Millworks and Baird Brothers. Yeah. It was a Saturday morning. 2020. Right? Two years ago. Yep. Uh, I opened up an info at Baird Brothers email on a Saturday morning about quarter after seven in the morning. And there was, there was this person saying, hey, I'm going to be coming through town today, and my dad's always talked to you guys up, and I'd like to stop in and see. Yeah. And I replied back, my name's Steve Stack. I'm here till noon. Yeah. And we took you, your husband Doug, and mm -hmm. the kiddos yeah. on the nickel tour, mm -hmm. and the rest is documented. <laughs> the rest really is documented. <laughs> right? Yeah, I totally blindsided you guys. Yeah. I said I wanted to come out. We went for a walk. Yeah. And now we're here. Now we chase each other around the country. Yeah, we do. <laughs> so going back to that, yeah. how did you become involved with the Outdoor Channel and Renovation Hunters? With this project, it was because of my online network of maker buddies who had already been involved with the pilot episode, um, which I was not involved with yet. And then they decided they needed another uh, person. And so Adam actually reached out to me initially and called me up and said, you want to be on TV? And I was like, honestly, I don't really know, but let's have a conversation. Yeah. And then uh, 
Yeah, I interviewed at WorkbenchCon down at uh, in Atlanta. You were in Atlanta, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it just went really fast from there. And then at some point, you did a little name dropping and thank you. Uh, yeah. And the next thing I know, I have uh, representatives from Renovation Hunters uh, at Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods in Canfield uh, uh, making their spiel. Mm -hmm. And after we heard the, the approach, the backstories, the reasons, it was a real good fit in a lot of different ways in that we had product they needed mm -hmm. and they had a conception that we loved. Yeah. And so it was easy. It was easy to pull the trigger. Yeah. It was easy to pull the trigger. So, of course, without giving away anything at Project Tyanesta, yeah. we've covered a lot of ground in this little place. Ton of material from you guys on this one. Right? And um, I like, I, I, I had the fortune uh, back on May 26th uh, to meet Hal and uh, Kevin and Chris and come up here for an on-site look at yeah. the project. And at that time, it was decided that they were going to award the project to this family. Mm -hmm. And I got to witness that. And, and my exact statement was, guys, we can turn this into a dollhouse. Mm -hmm. And I told one of the fellows this morning, I think it was Robbie or Mike maybe, and, and I said, I said, you guys, I've been excited for this one because I knew it was going to be special. Mm -hmm. I said, but you guys blew it out of the water. Yeah. I mean, this is sweet. This well, that's is what sweet. happens when you get great partners and you can yeah. take your resources and put them together. No, this, this one's going to be fun. So, uh, Wasn't there something that the family had said about either her father or her grandfather said they only wanted Baird products in this cabin like a long, long they, time ago? They, they were familiar with with the Baird family and, and Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods and and uh, w the stars aligned. Yeah, they really did. <laughs> right? And and uh, so so I'm I am uh, I am honored that uh, Outdoor Channel and Renovation Hunters has allowed us this access to the project. Uh, I spent two and a half days sweating, eating sawdust, <laughs> and <coughs> and loved it. And loved it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we, uh, we've got some news. We might as well share it with the folks now. Uh, you and your family, you've got your shop halfway packed for travel. Uh, yes. And you're headed to uh, a little town in Indiana. Yep. Uh, Doug is <laughs> stepping into a, a nice position. Yeah. Out at, uh, again, stars aligning or not, Oak Hill School Oak System. Oak Hill High School, yeah. Right? Yep. It's going to be a strength coach. So, uh, we've got some we've got some head scratching to do, yeah. right? But but we're gonna we're gonna continue, you know, one way, shape, or form. We're gonna continue not only the renovation hunters yeah. partnership, mm -hmm. but the Oak Hill Millwork and the Baird Brothers Fine mm -hmm. Hardwoods. Uh, we've got the technology. Yeah, and I'll just buy a hybrid vehicle and I'll just make the trip. It's not that far. It's like five hours. Okay, I know you got to get back to work. My friend, Love you. partner, yeah. you take care. For all you folks listening, thanks for talking shop with Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods. If you've enjoyed this episode and want to stay up to date with the American Hardwood Advisor Series, give us a like and subscribe. For more tips, projects, and inspiration, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or at BairdBrothers.com. Until next time. Brought to you direct from Studio 3B at Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, the American Hardwood Advisor is your source for trends, tips, and insights into how the building industry has evolved. Join me, Steve Stack, along with guest builders and industry leaders as we talk shop and go in depth on what it takes to be the best of the best. Dive into topics like architecture, industry trends, project plans, historical tools, tricks of the trade, and life's lessons from more than six decades of experience in the hardwood lumber business. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Steve Stack, 
Joining you today from Western Pennsylvania, we're out here with our partners, Renovation Hunters, for another American Hardwood Advisor interview with my guest and uh, friend as of four or five months ago, yeah. met out in Nebraska, right? Yes, sir. JR, welcome, man. Thank you. Thank you for right? having me. Uh, where, where are they going to run us next? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so so you are you're the boss at Hunters Dream Homes, right? Yes, sir. And you do a you do a little bit of everything. What you're telling me, general construction. I've I've witnessed it uh, over the last three projects with renovation hunters. It doesn't matter what they call on you to do, you jump in. I can and, do it, and you're all in, right? Jack of all trade, master of none. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> so. <laughs> and and how did you come about teaming up with Renovation Hunters? So actually, Hal and Greg Zipadelli lease our farm uh, deer hunt. Okay. And me and my wife are avid hunters, and so we were just talking with Hal. I was like, man, you know, I'm a little burnt out on construction and building houses mainly. I said, I'd like to do a little something different. Or, what you got going on? Could I just follow around, let share, and shoot some critters or something, you know? And, and uh, he said, man, we're actually doing a, a, a renovation show. He said, I, I think you'd make a perfect fit. And I was like, yeah, whatever, you know. And then here we are. <laughs> you know, and, 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 and the way the way you said that, and 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 I I'm I'm all about I'm all about cooking, right? Oh, yeah. And 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 you, you just nailed it. Hal and Kevin, they came up with the perfect ingredients to one hell of a recipe. In all you folks, right? You know they've got they've got a little of this, little of that, and in the end, how however you guys manage to do it, you get it done. That's right. Right. We, we all pull together, and everybody the workflow you, you know and somebody needs a hand over here we we stop and catch up and you know just get it done all hands on deck and right and and uh, the really cool part about you know Baird Brothers partnership with with not only renovation hunters but all you folks that we met five months ago and and you can see over that five month span how everybody's come together skill sets kind of rose to the top and now they can position people to their strengths. Yep. And, and it's really working nice, especially on this project. This one was pretty straightforward, but there was a lot to do, yeah. right? And, 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 and it's become a really tight-knit group. Yeah, just one big happy family. So, so you, you fall in on the, on the hunter side of stuff with Hal, and, and uh, I know a couple of the other guys on set, uh, they're, they're big into the hunt. And what, what do you like to hunt best? That's a good question. Anything that moves, but <laughs> probably <laughs> we'll narrow it down: dog hunting and non-dog hunting. Dog hunting, bear hunting. Okay. Non-dog hunting, turkey hunting. Okay, so down there in in, in Whitesville, Virginia, right? You got you got a little bit of everything got available bear, to you. We've got bear, turkey, deer, white-tailed deer. We have coyotes, groundhogs, so you can just shoot critters nonstop. Get get out there and get after it. Yes, sir. Buddy, thanks for joining me you enjoyed today. Enjoyed it. Okay? Thank you for having me. Folks, keep following along. JR, Hunter's Dream Homes, right? Yes, sir. Check this guy out on his socials. Continue to follow Baird Brothers, Instagram, Facebook, the whole gamut, all right? Till next time. For all you folks listening, thanks for talking shop with Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods. If you've enjoyed this episode and want to stay up to date with the American Hardwood Advisor Series, give us a like and subscribe. For more tips, projects, and inspiration, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or at BairdBrothers.com. Until next time. Brought to you direct from Studio 3B at Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, the American Hardwood Advisor is your source for trends, tips, and insights into how the building industry has evolved. Join me, Steve Stack, along with guest builders and industry leaders as we talk shop and go in depth on what it takes to be the best of the best. 
dive into topics like architecture, industry trends, project plans, historical tools, tricks of the trade, and life's lessons from more than six decades of experience in the hardwood lumber business. Hey everybody, Steve Stack coming to you from Project Tyan Nesta with uh, American Hardwood Advisor uh, interview podcast with the man that runs these jobs for renovation hunters and the outdoor channel. Uh, I, I had the pleasure and the privilege to meet uh, Kevin, oh, it's been about five, six months ago out in Nebraska. Kevin, welcome, buddy. Steve, thank you very much. Thank you. What a ride you have given Baird Brothers. You know, it has been, uh, just undertaking the renovation hunters project has been a ride all in itself. Uh, and we could not do it without y'all. I mean, you guys have given us, the biggest part of construction, especially right now, is material, quality material. Forget about knowledge of material. That doesn't exist anymore for half, half the companies. And when you guys stepped in, it was like, we got everything. We got everything covered. We, we, have, had, we have had a blast and, and uh, uh, having worked with contractors like yourself, uh, Tarkovich Construction, and and uh, sometimes it just clicks. And I personally, I felt it in Nebraska. Uh, Project Kreitz wasn't quite as involved for Baird, but I really appreciated all the projects that you created down there. Uh, but I had, I, I had the opportunity with yourself and Chris and uh, Hal to visit this project back on May 26th. Mm -hmm. And we walked through it and we just started throwing ideas off each other. Yeah. And we did a little floor plan sketch and we got back, got back home and we spent the next three days on the phone bouncing ideas <laughs> off each other. <laughs> and, and it worked out so well because you knew what we needed. You knew the limitations. Coming out to Nebraska, you know how vigorous the schedule is. Oh, yeah. And I mean, it's, it's a lot of work in a short amount of time. Um, so, you know, the right product for the job is critical. You know, and, and we're fortunate that, that uh, you guys are showcasing four or five different product categories in this, in this uh, Project Tyanesta home. And, and uh, we, we greatly appreciate that. Uh, you do a lot of things in business and you call them partnerships. And this has evolved into a friendship. And, and I think because it's being done right, we try and plan for everything. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys try and plan for everything. But in this particular project, there's been opportunities here locally that presented themselves. And they present themselves because you guys have the right approach. You're doing it for the right reasons. It's putting you in contact with the right people in town. That's, that's it. And, you know, that's part of the, the vision is not to just come in and do a project for somebody. Yeah. We want to embrace the, the area, the town the people in it and cross reference as much as we can. I mean, we're sourcing stuff from local hardware stores. Yep. We're, we're going to the local restaurants, you know, accommodations and you know, the neighbors just in these builds, I don't care if they're a mile down the road, five miles down the road, they're stopping by, they're offering help. They're excited just as much as we are to do the project. And it just gives you that true community feeling that tends to get lost anymore yeah um and you being so close to this project they know your company already yeah you know uh it's like oh yeah we service this company and we our cousin works for here you know and everybody has just said you know what a great company to work with yeah so it, we are lucky no uh, and and it's it's mutual i mean you hope i like and i said it earlier earlier this morning to a couple of the guys I said, we left this project on the initial visit, <clears throat> met the family, uh, 
the project's special, the family's extraordinary, and went back home and started started thinking. And like I say, you and I had conversation and uh, all of all of the projects to this point have been special. Mm -hmm. Because we're so close to this one, I had I had expectations. And I told the guys this morning, I said, you guys blew it out of the water. This is coming together sweet. It it is, I mean, it's you were the, the adamacy you had about, hey, I have the perfect product for our ceilings. I got the perfect product for our exterior. Yep. Knowing that you had the stuff, and I'm like, hey, roll with it. You know, you give me this the beautiful doors, everything, and having it just all mesh. And like I said, knowing the product line, you get so many times where you got a salesman who, hey, I just started three weeks ago. Like, do you know what finger joint stuff is? Huh? Yeah, just <laughs> clueless. Yeah. They know how to sell something, but they don't know what they're selling. Yeah. You got, you know the ins and outs. You're telling me how it's made, what it is. I think this is going to be better for you in this application. You know, we had uh, the time element. We needed something that is going to go up quick user friendly user friendly yeah. and on eight days <laughs> we need as much friendliness as possible right no i, <laughs> I mean there's that's no yeah i i i left i left here back in may and i think i said it to you guys you and you and how and, and chris i says we can make this a dollhouse yeah a dollhouse cabin a cabin dollhouse however you want to say it and i i think you guys and and your your team of makers from around the United States and with your guidance and hey, cracking the whip when you got to crack the whip, right? Because time is short. Well, that's, <laughs> and you know, you having the knowledge that you do in there, when I fired that, I'm taking your ideas for the build, the product line. And then when I kind of twisted up the layout and everything and fired it back to you and I got your approval on it, I mean, to me, that meant, okay, this, this solidifies it. Because oh. you step in such, I don't call it dangerous territory, but these places are so sentimental to people because you got three generations growing yeah. up here. The cabin has always looked this way. We're going to the cabin. You know it as a child. You're, you're living it now as a senior in some cases. And you don't want to come in and just, completely wipe it clean you want to add to the quaintness of it the look and just maximize the potential i um, don't i don't think you've touched the quaintness uh you haven't interrupted any memories but you guys really gave it a super cute face left you know and and, and it goes back to comfort yep You've, you've created more space, more comfort. Uh, some stuff that we won't even talk about today, but it'll soon be coming out that some of the conveniences. And, and uh, no, this, 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 is, this, has been, this has been a special project for a lot of different reasons. Um, I, was, I was talking to my better half, Lisa, this morning, and she says, well, now that you're on the third one, she said, which one do we got to go back to? I said, all of them. <laughs> they all have their uniqueness. That's, that, that's true. I mean, the, the locations have been unique. The structures have been unique. Yep. The, the families that we've touched have been unique. Um, you know, and I, joking, jokingly, you know, before this, we said, changing so much, I wonder if they're going to drive past it. <laughs> Because they look at it, and that would be a compliment. You know, they drive past, and go, "Oh, look at that place." When did they, you know, yeah. not realize it's theirs? Uh, I'm excited. I'm really am. Uh, changed a lot the facade, uh, but you walk you walk in there, and it still has its charm, its personality. Yeah. And and there's a lot of good memories that that this family is is going to continue to make here so well the the kitchen area you know to me is family family time had evolved from the kitchens and i wanted to keep so much of that kitchen original to what it was yep. 
so we you know keeping the the front window area to me that the most unique kitchen window i've ever seen that cottage window is yep it um, belongs there it belongs there and you know while the 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 cabinetry isn't top of the line or anything fancy it's the cabinetry that they talk about that they had in in this place from day one yep um, and the layout is the same in that kitchen. So they get to come back into these areas and then branch back out into our new spaces. Yep. Well, hey, friend, I have enjoyed it start to finish. Every I know, one of them. I know you've got, I've got, you've got some stuff to get finished up. You've got another couple days that, that uh, you're going you're gonna to have the hammer over you. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Tarkovich, job site superintendent, general contractor at large. Uh, follow Kevin at Kevin Tarkovich on Instagram and continue to follow Baird Brothers. We got more great stuff coming at you, bairdbrothers.com, Instagram, Facebook. Follow along. This is a great trip. For all you folks listening, thanks for talking shop with Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods. If you've enjoyed this episode and want to stay up to date with the American Hardwood Advisor Series, give us a like and subscribe. For more tips, projects, and inspiration, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or at BairdBrothers.com. Until next time. Brought to you direct from Studio 3B at Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, the American Hardwood Advisor is your source for trends, tips, and insights into how the building industry has evolved. Join me, Steve Stack, along with guest builders and industry leaders as we talk shop and go in depth on what it takes to be the best of the best. Dive into topics like architecture, industry trends, project plans, historical tools, tricks of the trade, and life's lessons from more than six decades of experience in the hardwood lumber business. Hey folks, Steve Stack, Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, coming to you from uh, American Hardwood Advisor, but as you can see, we're not in Studio 3B. We are out at Project Tyanesta with our friends and partners at the Renovation Hunters and the Outdoor Channel. And we've saved the best for last as far as today goes. We have the one, the only, Mr. Hal Schaefer, uh, part of the gang that formed Renovation Hunters. Uh, does a lot of different things, has, has that other little show run and drop zone. And, <laughs> and uh, uh, how many days a year are you home? Well, um... Not enough. Uh, probably um, a good six months out of the year I spend on the road. And, uh, and then the other time you're at home, you're usually busy, you know, traveling somewhere close by to home, but you're still laying your head down on your own bed at night. So it, it gets really busy, you know, between the marketing company, uh, Come On Media, Drop Zone TV, and Renovation Hunters. And Renovation Hunters is still in its infancy, right? So it's it's growing. So it's taking a lot of cultivating, a lot of, you know, a lot of labor. It's just, it's work right now. But man, we can already see the fruit sprouting on the trees. We see some really good things coming. And, and it all comes down to just having the right mission, right? You know, this is, in this day and time, in this world, I'm telling you, it, we need things to make people feel good. Right, it, it is definitely a feel-good story, and people, we love where it comes from. People in the United States are, are yearning for it, no doubt. We've we've got away from it, or a segment of the population has got away from it. <clears throat> tell tell the folks how, if you would, more or less your mission. You guys you guys had conversation. You came up with an idea, and with the right purpose, and now you're out here making it happen. What was the purpose? So growing up, I grew up in a, you know, a Southern family, born in Alabama. All my family was either from Alabama or Georgia, except for my dad. Now he was from Ohio, but, um, you know, Southern traditions, Southern families, it was always sitting around a table together, eating together, you know, every meal you spent together. There was no sitting on a phone or going to eat in your room. And it was when the family communicated, it was, you know, it's, it's the times I still remember. Some of the times I remember most are conversations and laughter and stuff that we did around the table. The second thing was that I think a lot of families have gotten away from right now is having a destination where not just the immediate family, 
but families from both sides, right, can come together. And of course, with me, it's about enjoying the outdoors. If we do not enjoy the outdoors, if we do not use the outdoors, the outdoors will disappear. As we know it, it will go away. Yeah. And so we had to come up with a way that was about the passion of the outdoors, but also the passion of the family, the family unit. The, the, the family units that were the backbone of this country, what our constitution was based on, what this, how this country was built. It, that's what it's all about. And we have ran so far from that right now, a large demographic in our country has. And I think because as we went on, it wasn't taught to them. They didn't see the value of it. We want them to see that. We want families sitting at a table together, eating together. We want families gathering together in wherever that place may be. That's why this renovation, Steve, is not about their home, right? It's about the place where families get together at. And we got a good one here. Boy. Project I Nest. <laughs> Man, I mean, if, if you would have sat down and somebody would have read the template for the type of project we want. I mean, this one hit every mark, every mark. Built this house back in 1971, their little cabin here. And the funny thing about this is, is the family grew, but the cabin didn't. Right. 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 And they, and there's a family that they did something that a lot of people do this day and time. They, they lived within their means. So it was basic necessities. It did not have a well, does not have running water, except for the water they borrowed from the neighbors, right? Through a garden hose. Um, and it was very small, it's very consolidated. You're talking about less than 800 square feet and they had 13 people sleeping in a two bedroom place. Yeah, right? Yeah. And that's all changed. Now it's changed. We're not giving anything <laughs> away folks, but it has changed. Uh, you, you know, I, I've, I've talked with different people on uh, on the set and and uh, uh, your workers and and uh, I said I, I said okay pick one which is your favorite and they all looked at me like what are you talking about and I shared with them I said I said I talked to my Lisa back home this morning she asked me that question yeah she says which one do you want to go back to I said all of them yeah exactly <laughs> right it's so cool because each one has its it's, it's like a it's like a meal right. Everywhere you go, everyone's got a little different flavor, and that's what this is. Everyone hits a different mark. Um, but I will say this. The, the great thing and the philosophy behind what we're doing for families, the renovation hunter philosophy was that it was a family, yeah. right? That all of our workers, all of our ambassadors, all this group, that's me. I want a family around me. I want people who love and care for me, and I want people that I love and care for. And the great thing about it is, and I'm not saying this because you're sitting here, but Baird Lumber, you guys are the epitome of what a partner is. We These guys don't get paid. There's Most, most partners uh, tell you what they need you to do, right? They send you what your deliverables are, and they send you your check. These guys come put their blood, sweat, and tears into every one of our builds, every one, not just one of them, not just for a day. You guys show up and we can't, first of all, we, we realized we couldn't do it without y'all. And second of all, man, you, you have no idea how much we appreciate it. Oh, uh, I, I, I do, I do. And, and, and Baird Brothers Fine Harbors, they appreciate, they appreciate those words. And, and I shared with, I shared with uh, John Tate the other day and he asked me a similar question about that. And I said, if you're a partner, you're a partner. You're all in or stay home. <laughs> yeah, and that's another education that, the, that, you know, today's youth need to understand. When you commit yourself to something, go all in. Because that's the only way you're going to tell if, you, if, if you're truly going to get out of it what you need out of it. Hey, you called, you called Laramie a few weeks ago and said, hey, buddy, I need you. Yeah. Right? I needed a crane, a bulldozer, and a Sasquatch all in one. And here he is. He's here doing it. Yeah, you know, but, you know, Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, the thing that I have realized being Connie and y'all's backyard here is talking to people around this town. They, they really know about your company and about the family. And see, that's the thing, I guess, why Baird Brothers works so well with us because it's been a family business for how long? It was, it was a natural fit, 62 years. Yeah, that's crazy. Right, 62 years and, and uh, 
you know, we've, uh, yesterday we had two third generation Baird family members up here I know. for a visit. And, uh, I think, uh, tomorrow I got, I got another two coming up and, uh, just, just because they care. Yeah. You know, uh, not being nosy, they, they care. They care. They, they care about this family and they cared about the family in Virginia, the Nebraska. They, they care about all of it. And that's, I guess that's what it all comes down to. You know, the fun thing is though, is that we together have come up because pretty much everybody checks their ego at the door when they walk in here, right? There are no celebrities, no movie stars, none of that junk. We're all just a group of people trying to complete a mission. And w what I found out is after talking with everybody, after every build, everyone, we come up with more and better ideas. So you know what? 2023, you better look out. Right. Because if you think we did good this year, next year is going to be a whole different shebang. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking so. And, and I've been excited for this project ever since we visited it back on May 26th. Oh yeah. And and I've been I've been stoked to get back over here and then you and and uh, Kevin and myself had conversations, you know, what if we do this? What if we do that? And and uh yeah. seeing it come to life. You guys are educated. So you guys brought a lot to the table. I mean, you know you know a lot about what you're doing and give us uh, some amazing ideas on how to really turn these places out. I mean, everyone so far has jogged every heartstring you could ever. They has pulled on every heartstring there was. I mean, we have seen grown men crying. We've seen ladies crying. We've seen people screaming with joy. Dude, that's that, right there at the end of the day when I lay my pillow down on my bed and put my head on it. <laughs> that's what it's all about. If if you were able to do that today, you've done a good deal. You you and I talked the other night over at Cougar Bob's, right? <laughs> And, There's only one cougar, Bob. And 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 I made a comment to you and and uh, about the uh, the reaction that we're kind of uh, anticipating from this family, and you said, "Yeah, I'm bringing a mop." <laughs> well, I got to run back in town. I think yeah. I'll pick up two <laughs> to get two. We may need them both because both sisters are here. I think Mark will be pretty good, but I, I'm going to tell you the sisters are going to. Uh, I will never. Be, I got to tell you this. So we when. We have finalists when we make our selection, so we have some finalists. And when we call those finalists, we, we call every one of them because we want to get a little more of the story, right? We want to get a better understanding of, of what we're dealing with. So the fun thing was is I called and Christine Murphy, because she's the one that entered it, and I called her and she answered the phone. I said, hey, this is Hal Schaefer. Oh my God, oh my God, we won, we won. I said, no, no, God, not yet. <laughs> It was so funny. It was hilarious. And, and so I had to bring her back down a little bit, bring her back down a little bit. But I said, you are a finalist. There's a good chance you're a finalist. It was hilarious. That's, that, that's the parts that you can't, that we didn't capture, that I wish we could have captured. Because this family lives within its means, and its means hasn't been to where they could expand this. Right. especially as fast as her family has grown. And I want everybody to get a chance to enjoy the outdoors. They're hunters, they're fishermen, they're campers, they're hikers. They, they use the outdoors for exactly what it was meant for. Uh, and I can't, I can't leave you go after, after that little story about talking with Christy. <laughs> the, day, the day that uh, you, Kevin, Chris, and myself came up here to look at the property, and yeah. we, we had spent probably an hour, an hour and a half here walking around the property in the house. And, and we go back into the kitchen and the family was sitting around a table under a tent outside on the patio. Kind of led them down one path to bring them up <laughs> no, another you didn't, one. You didn't lead them nowhere. <laughs> we, we had a discussion inside the house. You guys did whether or not you wanted to take the project on, what, whether or not it was achievable. And right. within the means. Because that is important to us. Right. We have, it has to be achievable because I don't want to come in <laughs> and short shoot anybody and then come up disappointed. That is the last thing we want, right? So, so folks, this dirty dog, <laughs> he says, he says to the, the, the other three of us, he says, okay, it's decided then this is the property. He says, but let's go out and announce. He said, but let me take this. So we go out and now we've got Christy and her husband and <laughs> And uh, the other brother, uh, stepbrother, or not stepbrother, brother-in-law, right? And and uh, Chrissy's son, 
<laughs> and uh, they're all they're all lined. We walked outside. They stood up like an attention, and oh my God, what they find out? Yeah. So this this guy, he says, you know, guys, he says, renovation hunters, we love the property, but we don't take on projects. And this is not verbatim, but the premise was we don't take on projects that we don't think we can complete in an eight to nine day window. And there's a lot of stuff going on here that we'd like to do, but. He said, I'm, I'm sorry to say, I don't think we can do it, so we're not going to take the project. You watched four adults melt in front of you, and before they hit the ground, he says, I'm oh, just kidding, we're going to take the project. <laughs> <laughs> then the tears flew. And then it was just tears, tears, tears. It was, that was awesome. So it, that, was, that, that was bad. But That was bad, but, you know, I got a little bad in me, you know. You just got to have some fun every now and then. But, you know... I, I just love seeing, I, I love seeing the emotion of people, e even when they start, when the emotion starts to, to go away, you instantly see how important it was to them for this to happen. Joyce family. Oh. I was present the other day when you read a letter, a card letter from the Joyce family. If that doesn't pull on your heartstrings. Oh, d dude, I mean, th you think they're the only ones that's had tears in their eyes? When I was at the Joyce family, I mean, my eyes watered up. It was like I was sniffing onions, because <laughs> right. I'm telling you, it was, right. it was rough. That, but, th and, and here's the thing, we said, our mission was to bring families back together and to start enjoying family again. The youngest son who had had a really good, you know, career, and had done well in life, had moved away. And he, he had moved away from his mom and dad and, and hadn't spent much time at the cabin. And he stood up after we did the reveal. And I'll never forget it. He goes, you know, he says, I moved away from here. I haven't spent no time here. And then the tears started pouring out of his eyes. And he said, you know, he goes, I didn't realize what I was missing until you guys showed up here and he couldn't even hold it. Yeah. The water just started make me cry. He, it, the water just started rolling out of his eyes and he goes, I, I, I've learned a lesson. You know, I, I don't, I need to spend more time with my mom and dad and with my family. And he says, you guys made this all possible. And not only that, you opened my eyes to it. Yeah. Right then right? I said, Mission completed. Right? Exactly. Mission completed. We could not exactly. do another house. We could never do another episode. And we could put this thing on the shelf and put it in a closet. And I promise you, I would be happy. You affected one person's exactly. life. Yes, exactly. Right? Yep. <clears throat> so, folks, this, this, this is, we're just wrapping up this first three house tour. And, and uh, you mentioned it earlier, 2023 is going to blow the doors off, but we well, ain't kidding because when this thing hits air, the entries we're going to get is going to be unbelievable, which is super exciting. But, you know, on top of that, I want y'all to know, though, there is a 10th episode. There's three episodes for every build. Every so build. that's nine. All right. But there's a 10th episode. And that 10th episode is going to be a lot of fun stuff and bloopers. And we may have old stack on a couple bloopers <laughs> that I will not let get away without being on air just so you know so don't when that 10th episode comes around make sure you're watching okay mr house schaefer thank you buddy appreciate everything y'all thank do for you us. for your friendship your partnership absolutely and and uh ladies and gentlemen house schaefer you can follow this guy you turn on instagram he's all over it drop zone renovation hunters house schaefer and please follow baird brothers we are having way too much fun to call it work but we've got more to come from Project Tyanesta and beyond. For all you folks listening, thanks for talking shop with Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods. If you've enjoyed this episode and want to stay up to date with the American Hardwood Advisor Series, give us a like and subscribe. For more tips, projects, and inspiration, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or at bairdbrothers.com. Until next time, 